It has arrived. We are on our way to our Chevy dealer to take delivery of our brand new 2022 refreshed Chevy Silverado LT Trail Boss. I'm super excited for this. This truck came in way sooner than I expected. Um, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick look of the new truck and then I'll go over the entire timeline from when I placed the order to when I took delivery, which is today, and all the updates I got in between. As I get a chance to use this truck, I'll be releasing some additional videos. So if this is a truck you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future truck videos. So I just completed my purchase. The dealer walked me through all the features of my brand new truck. Here it is. I'm just going to quickly show you the upgrades I put on the LT Trail Boss. So the first one will be the color. This is the cherry red tint coat. Um, I did upgrade to the 5.3 liter engine. I believe the 2.7 liter is standard. You won't be able to see from here probably, but there is a sunroof. That was up an upgrade. Um, I also have the assist step to get inside. Uh, that was something that they installed here at the dealership. The back tires do have a wheel liner. Um, I believe that's standard for the front tires um, and it costs extra for the rear tires, I believe. We look inside the back. Um, I did get the spray on Chevy bed liner as well as the multi-flex tailgate, which was also an upgrade. Here's a quick look at the interior. This is the upgraded digital cluster and the large touchscreen for the center stack. That's not something I paid extra for. That is on any LT model and higher. This is an LT Trail Boss, so it has uh, that redesign. Um, I think it's beautiful. It is a huge upgrade over what Chevy had been putting in their, their older trucks. So great job, Chevy. Thank you so much uh, for finally redesigning that and doing a great job. Uh, in terms of upgrades on the interior, I did upgrade to the bucket seats with the center console. So depending on the engine configuration, the default still is a bench seat. So I paid extra for, uh, with the 5.3 liter, I paid extra for the bucket seats. Um, they are not leather though, I did not upgrade to leather. And with the bucket seats, you get the center console with the huge storage department, uh, drink holders, there's a wireless phone charger here and the electric shifter. Um, with the bench seat, you would still get the column shifter. And this is new um, with the redesign as well. This is the first time I believe they've had the electric shifter in a truck. Other upgrades are, if you can see them, Bose speakers, Bose speaker system. Um, I did pay extra to get the rear power sliding window right here. I also paid extra for a trailering package to get the integrated brake controller. This can be a huge upgrade over what we've been using with our Traverse with the electric brake controller. So now it's built in, which is going to be great. Um, some of the other things I got with the trailering upgrade includes a trailer blind spot zone alert and provisions for the trailer camera, which is going to be awesome as well. This truck does come with a bunch of safety features included, um, but I did pay extra for an additional safety package. Um, I needed the HD surround camera. We have this on the Traverse and we love it. And with a bigger vehicle, this is going to be great. Um, tons of different camera angles here. Um, the side cameras are going to be awesome, especially for the tight fit that's going to be in my garage. And one of them I'm really looking forward to is the trailer hitch uh, camera, which will make it a lot easier to hitch up our trailer. Um, the other things in the upgraded safety package that I got include rear cross traffic braking, uh, rear pedestrian alert, and um, perimeter lighting. Uh, the only retrofit I have for this truck that I'll have to take it back in for is the rear park assist. Here's the startup. Quick look at the digital cluster. Looks like my brand new vehicle has five miles on it. Next, I'll go over the full timeline from when I ordered the truck um, to when I took delivery. Um, I have my list here to make sure I don't miss anything. On March 3rd, that's when the online configurator went live and I went ahead, built out my truck, contacted the dealer, and I placed my order that day. That was a Thursday, and uh, that's the day that my dealer gets their allocations and submits their orders. So they had already 
submitted their orders for the week, um, so it wasn't going to get in that week. Um, the next week, March 10th, uh, they did not have enough allocations to submit my order. Um, and then a week later, so March 17th, uh, they reached out to me because they did have an allocation, but there was a constraint on the multi-flex tailgate. Uh, so at that point, I could have changed my order to get it submitted. Um, I decided not to. The multi-flex tailgate was something I really wanted. Um, so I decided to hold off. Um, and that continued to be a constraint until my order actually got accepted by GM on April 13th. And um, April 13th is not a Thursday, so I was surprised when I got the um, when my dealer contacted me that they that the order actually got submitted, and they did something um, that they called a sold order sweep. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but from my understanding is. Regardless of allocations, they pull in a bunch of the orders that are out at dealerships into the system. And I don't know how constraints played into this. So I was kind of assuming that meant they pulled in a lot of vehicles and maybe even ones with constraints. So I wasn't really expecting an update anytime soon. Um, but they did tell me like the next step in the process would be an order build date. Um, and once we got the build date, then we'd have a better idea of of when you know it actually be built and get shipped and actually take delivery so I wasn't really reaching out to my dealer much because I knew it was gonna be a long wait or I assumed it would be a long wait so I was really surprised on May 21st um, when I found out that my truck had already been built and was in the process of being um, delivered uh, to my dealer and that it would probably be a couple weeks until I take delivery um, and now it is June 2nd and I'm taking delivery. So complete timeline was March 3rd to June 2nd. It technically came here um, yesterday on the 1st, um, but they needed a day to you know detail it, um, install the step assist and stuff like that. So I am now taking delivery on June 2nd. I was really surprised. I mean, that's an understatement to say I was surprised when they contacted me. Um, but it's kind of nice because then I got my truck today, which is a lot sooner than I expected. When I originally placed the order in March, they couldn't really give me a timeline, but they they said expect up till six months. And this was pretty much exactly three. Um, so that's about all I'm going to go over in this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to spend some time with this truck and definitely release some additional videos. I'm really interested in the digital cluster. Um, I love the new center console with all the Google stuff built in. I'm going to use that for a month or two and I'll probably release a video on that. Uh, Multiflex tailgate, stuff like that. So again, if you're interested in the new refreshed uh, Silverado, definitely subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.